Hi, I'm Jason Mears and this is Discs and SSDs from the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So in previous videos you've seen the Dell T3610 um, Home Lab server uh, which originally came with two 3.5 inch disc caddies for two traditional hard drives. That's the ones at the top here. Um, however, what I wanted to do was fill these with uh, as many SSDs as I could. Um, the, the computer itself, the T3610, um, has got six SATA channels, uh, one of them used by the DVD, so there's five channels free for SSDs. So these are the original two bays. I tried putting um, caddies in them, but I eventually just decided to remove the caddy altogether and go with something which I'll show you in the next slide, which are these um, three and a half inch to SSD caddies. So I tried various different types um, with various success with each one, but the ones that are standardized on is this Easy Fit Lite, which is this three and a half inch caddy that takes two SSDs, and the Easy Fit Trio, which is this one here, another three and a half inch caddy that takes three SSDs. Um, they're both easily available on Amazon, eBay, anywhere else for you know roughly $10 or £10. Um, and these are what I've decided to use to put the SSDs in the server. So this is the, as I said before, this is the light uh, two SSD solution, and this is the trio one that fits three uh, in the in the three and a half inch bay. So next problem I had was with uh, trying to get SATA cables to fit. Given how many serve uh, how many SSDs I was putting in such a small space, the right angle connectors that you see up at the top here. Uh, just wouldn't fit close enough together. They were they were on top of each other, and one prevented the other one from going in. So I started using these straighter connectors. You'll see a standard one there, and a straight one again with a clip on the top there. But um, in in summary, uh, when I was using right angle connectors, it was just difficult and unreliable. When I could get them to work, I would move the server, and the the connections would come out whilst I was moving it back into the back into the garage. Um, so just in summary, if you can, avoid these right angle bonds, and if you can, go for these uh, straight ones. Next problem then was uh, power, because there was only two SATA connections, because the drive bay was only intended for two hard drives. So eventually, after lots of messing around with lots of different adapters plugged into more adapters, plugged into more adapters, I eventually found one of these on Amazon. Um, which was a, a one SATA to four SATA connector um, and that allowed me to take one of the power connectors turn it into four so the original two now became five which was enough to, uh, to to run all the drives in the bay. So the top photograph is what the drive bay looks like now with five in uh, without any connectors uh, connections so you see there's the two caddies three in the bottom two in the top and then the picture below shows them with all the cables in and you can see from how tight these are that the right angle cables just were, were a nightmare and wouldn't work so hence going for straight ones. Um, and then at the bottom here you can see them inside vSphere 7 itself listing the six devices so the first one's the CD-ROM and then another five SSDs. So it was all completed uh, within those two bays. Uh, I've used seven millimeter drives I don't know if nine would fit but most SSDs now are seven millimeter um, and the moral of the story really is just buy new SATA cables, buy new power cables, and you should be fine um, to turn that bay into uh, one suitable running five SSDs. And that is the end of discs and SSDs. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you found that useful.